Hello, hello guys. Welcome hello to another everybody. MSI Insider live stream. Yeah, that time of the week again. Exactly. And I'm not alone. I'm here together with the one and only... Uh, Godlike? No, Eric van oh, Sander, me. right? Yeah, oh yeah, Eric <laughs> van Sander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we just found them here. We still had them, so why not use them, right? Yeah, we're still... Do you have an MSI branded one? I, I, of course I have an MSI Ooh, branded one. You, you don't? That? You don't? No. You don't have the limited edition MSI... No. Santa hat? No. Anyway, so today, <laughs> something really special. Something really special. Z690 got like. Have you ever seen a motherboard box of this size? No. And uh, I can tell you. Did I was you lift the one, it? I was <laughs> the one, yeah, I was the one to uh, carry it to this uh, location. <laughs> it's uh, quite heavy, the box. Quite heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an understatement. Yeah. It's, we uh, wanted to arrange a scale so we could show you how much it actually weighs, but yeah, we, we couldn't find the right scale. So you have to believe us, but it's uh, it's heavy. It's really heavy. Yeah. Anyway, and it today, also has to do with all the stuff in that box because it's not just a model. Yeah, besides Godlike, we also have a nice Christmas giveaway. Yes, so if you go to msr.com slash two slash insider, the, or if you follow the direct link to Gleam uh, through Twitch or YouTube chat, then you can enter our giveaway and we have a special prize today. So you can win an MPG a Z690 carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. Unfortunately, no godlike. It's uh, not in the market yet. It's a limited edition. It's also a very limited edition. Um, but yeah, I also think carbon is also a pretty nice motherboard. As you can see, there is a slight difference in box size. Also in the box contents, of course, there is a difference, but still carbon, I think it's a, it's a really cool motherboard. Banana for scale, well. sorry, we have, a, we have a carbon for <laughs> we scale. We have a carbon for scale indeed. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, so yeah, carbon is a normal ATX motherboard, so this says, yeah. a, says a lot. This, this is normal motherboard, motherboard box size. It's, it's like, you will find like 90% of our motherboards um, to have this size of the ATX yeah. motherboards. There are but a few bigger ones. It's not only a, like a motherboard in the box, right? In this one, it is. Yeah, of yeah. course, a few accessories. But in this one, there is a lot more than just okay. the motherboard. Okay, show us. Kay. So, uh, yeah, go to Amazon.com slash 2insider. Or if you're on YouTube or Twitch, we have a spam bot. Each five minutes will post the Gleam link. You can click on that. And I think most of you know what to do. Good luck. Let me put it like that so we can open it. So we're really happy in order to do this live stream today because this product didn't launch yet. No. Nope. And we managed to grab not one, we got two. We That's got also two. why I have two boxes. <laughs> the one that was just standing here is an empty one because I have that one currently on a test bench so we can do some live demonstrations as well. Um, but let's maybe start with a nice unboxing of this one. Oh, not the capture. That's for later. Uh, detail maybe. I don't know how limited it is exactly, but maybe we've got like 50% of the What's on the inside? Now. What's of the inside? Let me turn this around there we go okay spoiler oh. alert <laughs> so now you already see what's in the box yeah if you read i don't know if you can read it from this distance maybe i will do the detailed if camera. yes then you know everything now then you can leave bye bye <laughs> thank you this is the coolest motherboard unboxing i've ever done <laughs> <laughs> oh what about the the media kit for z690 yeah, that was also pretty cool, but that was, well, of, this that was, was not just media. a I wanted to say that was not just a motherboard, but this is also not just a motherboard. So, but yeah, that was also really cool, but that was not, not something that was... That On sale. Was, yeah, for sale indeed. Yeah. It was specifically uh, for media, also especially in the beginning, hard for everyone... Take it out! To, Don't talk so much! Some. Hey, I to need to build a little bit of tension. Oh, okay. It's a bit like, like Formula One last weekend. <laughs> Don't comment on that like that. <laughs> So let me start, of course, with a big start today. <laughs> it's heavy, the motherboard itself. So the MEG Z690 got like. It's really heavy. And as you can see, <laughs> it's also really big. So this is not a regular ATX size motherboard. Can you it's maybe take carbon out and, and, and compare them? Yeah, yeah, I can. Are you, uh, we have another ATX board here? I don't know if we do. No, we, we actually cleaned up. <laughs> yeah. Normally you have like, like uh, five boards laying around here. Yeah, we I, I will up. take this one for, for comparison. What a surprise. I will be very careful with it because this is the actual board that one <laughs> that person will win today. 
So I'll try not to damage anything. So I'll also keep it in inside the bag, but yeah. just for comparison's sake. You can see that in, in terms of length, they're identical because that's Heights, the ATX mean. and extended ATX. Um, yeah, they, they are the same height, but the big difference is the width. So extended ATX, it depends per ex, uh, exact model that you have. So you can also have an extended ATX that is still a little bit smaller than this. But this is a really big extended ATX motherboard. This also means that you need a big case that can fit a motherboard like this. So definitely double check that. Um, if you're planning on, on getting a godlike. Well, later we have something about how can you get godlike because this mainboard is not available for everybody, right? No, it's it's no, it's not just that you can go out and order it in a random web shop. Uh, later more about that. Yeah, more about that later indeed. It's not only the location where you buy, but especially who can buy. Yep, for sure. Oh, let me return the accessories to the carbon so I don't yeah. get any angry emails from the prize winner. <laughs> oh, there we go. CPU is not included. Well, it shouldn't be. No, CPU is not included. So yeah, it's a, it's a huge motherboard. And for example, if we look at our current portfolio of computer cases, um, none of them can actually officially support this model. It doesn't mean it won't fit. So in certain case it will fit. But for example, because of the width, it will block the cable management holes. But I can already tell you that next year we definitely have a case that can fit this one. Can you maybe talk about all the other stuff in the box first? Because then we also have a guest, right? We definitely have a, we have a very special yeah. guest. Okay, but let's uh, first continue our unboxing. So let me move this aside. Oh, you really don't want to damage it? No, I really don't want to damage it. Normally we are the ones who damage the stuff in this stream. Yeah, but those are usually no godlikes. Oh, yeah, that's, that's correct. Like, uh, for example, I like tomahawks and stuff, but it, it happens that a motherboard dies sometimes. And if it's a tomahawk, like, yeah, it's okay -ish. Will it be like the collector's <laughs> edition of MAG series? E well, it's even more special, but later more about that. I mean, e special, I mean, special is what you make yourself out of it. It's more limited. Here we've got some, these are actually made out of metal and they are covers for your cables. So you have the, the connectors, for example, on the top and the bottom. These have got a magnetic fixture. You can put them on top and then you can cover the cables on the motherboard. I will show you later because uh, I have them installed on the one on my test bench. Then there is a nice MSI badge included. And I already saw some people talking about, hey, I cannot buy DDR5 anywhere. Well, for people getting a godlike, you don't need to buy it anymore because DDR5 is included with the godlike. So this is a 32 uh, gigabyte um, uh, Kingston Fury Beast memory kit. So this is 32 gigabytes of DDR5 5200 megahertz, and it comes with uh, the godlike uh, by default. So people who are getting the godlike, they don't have to search for DDR5 anymore. Because we know it, it can be difficult these days to, to it is, get yes. a kit of DDR5. Um, that's not it, because we have another layer underneath. So let's maybe start here. People who are familiar with our Unify X motherboards may recognize this. Um, Later this, we will uh, demo it, right? Yeah, this is, well, well I, I have a fixed test bench. So let's take a quick look at them. Just one of them. So basically what it is, it's a stand set. So you got these triangular stands, you just screw this in. And then of course you have several of them. And you can and throw you them can on the road and then cars stop moving, right? Exactly. Like in movies. Then they have a flat tire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically you, you put all of them down and then you can put your motherboard on top of, the, of it. So this goes into the screw holes of the motherboard. So if can you, you maybe want to do show one in focus. <laughs> yeah. So that's how you put them down. So it's a main board stand. Yeah, it's a main board stand. So if you don't have a test bench and if you still want to do some, some yeah, open test bench testing, then you can use these stands. Yeah, uh, default uh, with uh, Unify, but now you also get it with this godlike. Exactly. Merrick says, serious, the godlike comes with DDR5? Yes, it does. Well, not only that. Not only that, there's more to come. So let's continue. We have a bag of accessories here. 
So you got your SATA cables, your RGB cables. This is an interesting cable that we will also demonstrate to you later. This is a DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort cable. And this is what you use um, if you want to have a display signal over your Thunderbolt connection um, while using your dedicated graphics card to get that display signal. Let's see what else do we have. We have another one of those cables. We got two of those connectors. We forgot more SATA cables, more RGB cables. We've got a thermal sensor. More RGB? No, this is another thermal sensor. We've got <laughs> more RGB cables, <laughs> the Corsair for the Corsair Hero specifically. Then this is also a special cable, but more about that later. It's a USB cable, that's all I'm going to tell. But not, or a special it, it one. It is a USB cable. It's a USB cable. More SATA good. cables, it's too much to hold. <laughs> more RGB cables, the nice screwdrivers that come included with some motherboards. That you can, of course, attach to your keys. So this already, uh, only the back is already a nice uh, gift, yeah. like a goodie bag. The easy and the two clip. Oh, so you have some uh, extra ones. Yep. Oh, I didn't know. There are some more. Cool. A nice brush to clean your motherboard. And believe me, it's super shiny, so you may have to sometimes. The USB drive, so this is basically, you used to get a DVD with your motherboard in the past, but now that not many people have optical drives anymore, we include uh, the USB drive with the drivers. Yeah, but of course, we always recommend just get the latest one from our website. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, of course, these are just the drivers um, that are present by launch, but over time, we will, of course, also develop on these drivers. Somebody has already put his kidney for sale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if one kidney is enough. Not only that, <laughs> even if you sold your kidneys and you have the money, yeah, you probably Still not you maybe not can buy it. Can buy this it one. indeed. And not because of price. So that was the accessory bag. Let me put that aside again. More? Yeah, there's more. Here we have the Wi Fi antenna. It says on the box. <laughs> and now, I need to make some space in the box. <laughs> How are we going to do this? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, I can take this out completely. There's a problem with the link. Okay, that means I'm going to double check. I'm not sure which link you're talking about. Gleam is down. Because in this box, you can also find our MEG Core Liquid S360 liquid cooler. So it comes with the Godlike. Here we have the CPU block. Thermal paste already applied. The radiator, so this is the S360, means it has a 360 millimeter radiator. So it also comes with three 120 millimeter fans. And these are our new Silent Gale P12 fans. Yeah, I see one. Gleam is working, but it's quite slow. And I see we already have a lot of users participating. Uh, so I would say just yeah, like in five or ten minutes, please try again. And of mm. course, for the liquid cooler, all the different brackets for for uh, different sockets as well. But of course, on uh, yeah, so on God like you need the LGA seventeen hundred one. Ryan is saying first it didn't work, but after uh, second uh, second try it did. Kay. So yeah, try to refresh Gleam, try again, uh, guys. It's, uh, it has some issues. So that was all the box content. So basically, it's the motherboard, it's um, the MEG Core Liquid S360 cooler, 
and it's a 32 gigabyte kit of Kingston uh, Fury Beast memory, DDR5 memory. Then of course some additional accessories like the DIY stand set, um, like the USB so flash drive, etc., etc. I cannot buy Godlike as a main box. I only can buy Godlike as a bundle. At this point, yes. Oh, at this point? Yeah, it doesn't. I, I'm not saying that it will happen in the future that it goes on sale separately because we simply don't know yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, at, uh, when it comes out, when it launches, it's only available as a as a full. Kit. Okay. Um, can you then maybe uh, show us the back of the motherboard? Yes. Let me. Oh, that maybe? Yeah. No, it's on the this. it's on the heatsink, right? What is on the heatsink? One moment. Let me put this back together. It's not easy with so much content. <laughs> Just throw it behind you. There we go. So we lost five minutes today because you need to put everything back together. <laughs> well, that was still pretty fast, right? So that belongs here. Everything is labeled inside, so that's quite easy to they find where especially I should be for from. you because they especially for me they knew you needed to give everything back <laughs> there we go uh, also I see August on YouTube having problems with Twitch so maybe uh, some Amazon uh, outage uh, on in one of the data centers that could explain these problems it still fits it's a miracle. still fits <laughs> So let's put this aside again. Yeah, so it seems uh, uh, several people are having problems on Twitch. Uh, on Gleam, probably Amazon down, but I'm not a boss from Amazon, so I cannot fix it. Um, Michiel, can you maybe oh show boy, the back of the main board? The back of the main board, yes. Of the dot light, because I saw there was something on there. The signature, right? I hope you can still see it with the back plate, because I think it's on the PCB. Oh, yeah, it's on the PCB. Hmm. Um, so you can. cannot see it with the back plate. Anyway, when we uh, uh, got the, the, the drawings, uh, the design uh, files for Godlike, we noticed, hey, there's a signature on the background, in the, in the, on the PCB. Yeah, so those were like the, the, the early renders of the PCB. Yeah. Um, so no back plate yet. No, we always give feedback on them, uh, like, uh, hey, this we want to see different, or can we maybe uh, think about this? Uh, of course, not all our feedback they listen to, or, or it's uh, possible to do. But there was a signature on the backside of the PCB, and, I mean, we, we said, who is that? I mean, I didn't recognize Michiel's signature. <laughs> it was a mine signature. Uh, so we found out uh, it was the signature of the designer. The designer of Godlike, because maybe Michiel, you can show it in the detailed cam. Because this, the heat sinks and design, and later we'll do the peel off. Um, yeah, this is designed uh, by somebody, and we managed to find this person. So let me see if he's available. Oh, I need to put in my ears. One moment. Yep. Because the designer, one moment, is. Uh, Peter, can you hear us? Yeah. Hello, Peter. Hi. Hi. Welcome nice. to the stream. Hello. Hi. Thanks for joining. So. Yeah. Thanks for having. So you me. are designer of Godlike. Mr. Godlike. <laughs> yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us uh, how, how long do you work for MSI and what is your job? Do you only design Godlikes or do you uh, also design other stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I'm industrial designer and I worked for MSI for more than seven years. He yeah. beats you, Michiel. Yeah, he doesn't beat you, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no that's, that's difficult. Eric is I'm part like of the furniture. furniture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, can you tell us a little bit about the design? Uh, how did you get your inspiration for Godlike? Yeah, sure. Um, the show yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. I will. Okay. Because I, I see a sea uh, of stars. Mm -hmm. And uh, the initial idea is about the sea of the stars. And we want to create an area with unlimited power, just like the universe. Next to that, um, the shooting star is a significant symbol that demonstrates 
strong power. I mean, extreme power, and it's also an important design point mm -hmm. for the Galak. Yeah. Okay. Next, we see, and um, for the grid, we use a lot of triangle grids as our pattern design, which symbolizes all the places that you've conquered. Nice, like in a game. But, yeah. Yeah, like it again. It's your territory. It's your trophy. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and besides, um, no, <clears throat> there are many creative inspiration, inspiration to let continue in Z590, Z590 Galak. And for example, the column of faith and crystal dragon and the full armor design, they all exist to become more involved. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, I yeah. see indeed it's from the same family, but still it's like totally yeah. different. Yeah, a little different, and uh, it, it got uh, evolution. Yeah, 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 indeed. <laughs> Did you mm -hmm. also design yeah, uh, uh, Z590 Godlike? Yeah, oh, okay, me. nice. Yeah, because this is also mm -hmm. sometimes when we design motherboards, you know, uh, they all have different industrial designers or, or different uh, people who uh, have ideas for the heat sinks. And this always is a long discussion. Yeah. And a lot of times we notice mm. that, for example, we have, for example, uh, one carbon and the next generation. Well, maybe carbon is not a good example, but uh, like Gaming Plus and the next generation Gaming Plus looks completely different. And Michiel and me were yeah, always saying like, hey, can we have the same design? So you did this with Godlike. Nice. Thanks. And, and next. And Godlike is our most powerful gaming motherboard. It has novice. Mm -hmm. And this is why we made the MSI Dragon into a constellation, oh, nice, yeah. like, a, like a real god in the sky, yeah. And the, which is more supreme than anything on the earth. Ne next to that, um, we've redesigned every detail. As you can see, the M.2 heatsinks are made of multi-triangular uh, three-dimensional sections. And it became more special looking and get and got a huge service area yeah. for heat dissipation. Yeah. And also, I saw a lot mm -hmm. of other small details. Later, Michiel will uh, show everybody. But actually, the M.2 heat sinks, they work with magnets and they also have RGB on them, right? Yes, we put a lot of effort on, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was really, when I saw it, I was really like, whoa, this, this is like a nice innovation. I also saw... And the way it is connected internally is also really cool. Yeah, I also saw that we applied for a patent for this, right? Yeah. Nice. That's nice. right. Okay, next Okay, next we see the column of fast is now lit up. We used, we used four pieces of tempered glass and uh, multi-layered materials to construct it. Uh, a glass. It, um, as I know, it might be the first time you've seen glass on in a, a motherboard. Uh, don't Maybe. don't tell Michiel this is glass because he always breaks glass. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't, don't watch out, Michiel. We had a live stream in the like past where I tested how strong tempered glass for computer cases is. So I smacked it with a hammer. I dropped it on the floor just to see how strong tempered glass is. But it really is. It is okay. really strong. So don't mm -hmm. touch this, Michiel. But don't try it. I, I, I won't, yeah, I won't don't touch this god like <laughs> with a hammer. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. And these four parts, including the dragon, can be put together to create a full image of the universe. Universe. Yeah. yeah. So you have the shooting stars, you have the dragon. Uh, mm. Yeah. The constellation. Yeah. Nice. And also, we when these three slash lines light up, it will look just like a, like shooting stars, which, as I mentioned, which is a significant symbol for this 690 Galactic. Yeah. I also and I next, also see a big display mm, on there. Yeah. The uh, display on top. The the the. Ah uh, yeah, yes, our our secret web secret Ooh, weapon. I like <laughs> secret weapons. Okay, next. Uh, and next, uh, the triangle grid pattern is a key element of the MEG family. And in Z690 Galak, you find these textures with that on many places. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, 
that is the story of the Z690 Galaxy design. We put our most ambitious and innovative ideas on this smartphone. Yeah. And yeah, that's exactly, exactly the spirit of the legendary Galaxy. Yeah, indeed, because the, the first Godlike we had was the first mainboard ever with RGB. And uh, we're still saying sorry yeah. to everybody because yes, uh, I mean, RGB now became a hype and, and everything has RGB. Which one was it? It was like X, X99, X79 even? Oh, that's a long time ago. I, I know we uh, it was introduced still red, it. I, I was in So the motherboard was red, but you had RGB. We yeah. fixed that, of course, in later generations. Yeah, indeed. This was the first, uh, uh, the, the first study with RGB on the motherboard. And I, I still remember I was in Computex in Taiwan, uh, June, uh, beginning of June. Uh, that event is always uh, held, organized. And it was, you know, the, the boot was, I mean, yeah, we always have a big boot, but it was too small for all the people for all the uh, customers and all the journalists to stand in front of Godlike and we had a night, night live show uh, but the lights at that moment were quite primitive we didn't have separate zones uh, we didn't have on the back side of the PCB so the first Godlike indeed it was red like you uh, say Michiel uh, we didn't think about like nice color management because yeah you, you want to have black with, with like a black mainboard with all the RGB uh, things which lights up the different areas and yeah, if you see now what, what Peter did, uh, including glass and different kind of materials. Uh, and what I, I also I really like about this one is that even if you switch the RGB off, it's still a very good looking motherboard. Yeah. You basically get a little bit of, of unified look and feel. It looks like stealthy, really dark. I really like the way also it looks with the RGB off. So yeah. even if you're not into RGB, if you're not into to all the flashy stuff, then it's, real, it's still a really good looking motherboard, I think. So, uh, Peter, how long did it take to, to start with the design ID and, and come up with the final design? Is this like weeks or months or years, maybe? Because um, this uh, is our flagship uh, product and uh, we put uh, almost um, over one year to okay. complete. <laughs> okay, nice. So, I, I, so from that answer, I already know you're working on something new for next year, right? Sure. What? So you're working on the new Godlike for next year already? If it takes one year, uh, no comments. <laughs> I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Okay. No always try. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Twitch down. I see. Yeah, people. So uh, probably Twitch and and also uh, let me refresh that here. Uh, Gleam might have some problems. Uh, anyway, let me see if the participants. Because you can be in the main bar today, we don't want to have Twitch uh, of a uh, gleam down. Yeah, here it's working, and I see more participants, so you can still participate. Participate if you're able to. Yeah, and I hope it works later on for everyone. Wh what was the most difficult part of designing this motherboard? Was it like uh, cost or mechanical issues or uh, too many people with different opinion, or could you do whatever you wanted? Mm, I would say always look mechanical problem and because too um, many features on one motherboard. <laughs> it has at the beginning it only has uh, maybe one, two, three, four, a uh, five and mm -hmm. two slots, and and yet it plus one slot, and I have to um, mod mod modify my d design to. Yeah. So this one now has six M.2 slots. It is getting big. Yeah, six M.2 slots. That's correct. Yeah, so that's also always a problem in the design process because we have different teams working together. We have, the, of course, the R&D team, the hardware team, uh, thermal team, overclocking team, uh, software team, and everybody at the same time is working on a product, and basically nobody has the final product. And then, uh, for example, in the beginning we say, okay, Godlike needs to be crazy. And now maybe our uh, current M dot, oh, sorry, our current uh, Z690 boards, or at that moment maybe Z590, or maybe even one generation before that, they have like two M dot two slots or three. And then we say, okay, let's do crazy. Godlike has five. And then when uh, the designer Peter in this case is designing the heat sinks for that and the layout. Uh, and then at one moment they say, oh, we can make it six. Uh, so some technical uh, uh, product <laughs> managers say, we can more, make it more, six. More, more, <laughs> We know how to do it technically. More, more. Yeah, and then, of course. <laughs> yeah, why not say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that was maybe too difficult. But, uh, yeah, and then you go back to the designer because he needs to make sure all the, uh, heat, the, all the M.2 slots are covered with a heatsink. Uh, and it still looks good. And that's a big challenge. Uh, Peter, 
Yeah, Did you get in a fight with uh, some product managers? Like they wanted something, you said, no, impossible to make. Uh, did you did you fight with product managers? Like they had an ID <laughs> and you said, uh, sorry, we cannot do that. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's kind of competition, but uh, yeah, we fight a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good to hear. I, I like uh, people who are passionate. <laughs> Uh, you also play some games? Uh, yeah, do games? you play games? Oh uh, yeah, um, I um, I just uh, beat out the uh, Far Cry oh, 6. Nice. And, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a good game, but um, in a, the ending is not... Oh, don't tell! Um, not, 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 I don't want happier. to know, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still, I think, at level like 4 or... No, I, I'm joking, I think I like level... I don't know, I, I think I spent like... 20 hours or something, but that's it. I don't have time. It's, it's still a, a good game, yeah. Ah, yeah, I, I, it's, it's quite fun, indeed. Mm -hmm, um, yeah. If anybody has uh, questions uh, for Peter, yeah. Oh, massive AWS audit. So it's again Amazon who is the problem. Yeah, Amazon um, services. L. A Gator is saying, I'm waiting for the ITX Z690 motherboard. Uh, uh, Michiel, do you know the MP date for that one? I don't know the exact should date. should be soon, right? Yeah, it should be relatively soon. Yeah. Uh, best to check with your local reseller because it may differ a little bit per region when it becomes available. Uh, so maybe your local reseller can give you a bit more information about when they expect to receive it. Yeah, indeed. Okay, cool. Yeah, I see a lot of positive comments about the design, I also saw Peter. someone commenting about that's a cool title, Godlike Designer. <laughs> yeah, Actually, yeah. we had our, our, our designer who always designs our, our visuals for, for this live stream. Like the name, the name tags. tags and stuff. He was very jealous at the Godlike Designer title. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Peter, thanks for your time. Uh, yeah, I know thank you so much. you're in Taipei now, uh, so it's almost uh, 12 o'clock, almost midnight. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, good night. I want to yeah, say to you night. and thank you for joining and thanks for all the uh, uh, yeah, already inspiration and information. To the, already looking forward to the next Godlike. Yes. <laughs> yeah, my he, he's yeah. working on it, we yeah. know already, but he, he don't want to tell what, how it's going to look or we what kind. We won't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, Peter. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. So, Michiel, uh, what are we uh, going to continue with? Because you also have a live test bench, right? Yes. Let's maybe set this stuff up a bit. I need to make a little bit of space. All the big godlike boxes here. And then we can demonstrate some of the stuff that needed to be crammed in that design because it's, yeah, it's loaded. Okay, then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check again uh, Gleam. Yeah, actually, there's not much we can do. Is there an AWS artist? Let me sh check some news websites. Yeah, if there is AWS artist, there's not much we, we can do about that, I'm afraid. Mm. Okay, so this is a, uh, let me take it in a detailed cam. Let me move it to the side. This is Godlike, yeah. right? Um, let me grab the other camera, then I can show you a little oh, bit cool. better than with this cam. We just continue, I mean, if, 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 there yeah. are no viewers, we don't care, I mean. At least we had fun making the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're paid per hour, right? Also, and people hour. can still view it back on, on YouTube and stuff, on yeah. demand. No, uh, it looks like that uh, YouTube is still here. Uh, Twitch, a lot of people are uh, having handshake problems and other technical uh, stuff. So uh, Twitch is to be out. owned by Amazon, right? So it does make sense. Yeah. Oh, uh, somebody uh, 10, uh, 361 of, uh, 16 is saying uh, searching AWS out, it seems to show no doubt time. It's working now. Okay. Can you switch to my camera right here? Yeah, uh, yo, yeah, yeah, sorry. Now let's show you a little bit of the, the chat. The uh, so this is uh, how oh, we call the droid cam, right? Yeah, there we go. So it's really shiny, so you will see all our studio lights. And here you see the, the phone I'm using. And still some Christmas uh, decoration. Yeah, some Christmas decoration on the ceiling you can even see in there. <laughs> but right can now you maybe remove the VJ card or is that too much to ask? Uh, no, that's doable. I have to put you down for a second then. But you put me down. <laughs> but it's relatively easy to remove this. Hey guys, if nobody wins today, I'm just keeping it myself. 
<laughs> there we go. Oh, it's uh, looks like it's hanging, Michiel. It is. Strange. Can you reconnect? Uh, yes. Um, it moment. looks like the whole phone is hanging, actually. Interesting. My phone is rebooting. <laughs> okay. Did you charge it? Yes. Okay. Then it's not your mistake. Battery is charged. Okay. Slow while, phone. while that reboots, um, so the uh, setup that we have right here is of course MEG Z690 Godlike. Uh, we put uh, a Core i9 um, 12900K CPU in there. I have the specs. Woohoo! There we go. Of course, the memory that comes with the motherboard, so 32 gigabytes of uh, Kingston Fury Beast DDR5, uh, that's 5200 megahertz. Then we have the cooler that comes with it, the MEG um, Core Liquid S360, and we have our MPG uh, A850GF power supply. So I am rebooted. Let me quickly open up. Do you still remember the password? You should be able to connect already. Oh, I always push the wrong button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, that makes me remember. Do you uh, do you know still know that you you needed to switch scene and you clicked on end live stream? Yeah, I did that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I wanted to start, but I clicked end. So it's yeah, not uh, was not ideal. Okay. Can connect. IP fifty eight. Yep. Start. There we are again. Hey, works. Okay. Then let's uh, take a look at the yeah, whole Yeah, so you, you saw some photos and renders in the in the uh, presentation we showed you. The, so this it's is super the shiny. <laughs> <laughs> so here you can see the covers that were included in the box. Okay, so that's to, to so hide away all the cables, yeah. right? And this is magnetic, so you can take it off. Oh, nice. Yeah. Our old test bench from Big Bang. I yeah, think it's that's, a really... That's Really old test bench. Yeah. <laughs> there we have our MPG A850 GF power supply hidden underneath. Of course, a liquid cooler, 360 millimeter radiator right there. And today we're using um, the GeForce RTX 3090 Supreme. That's why you can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> we are using it. That one is not included with Godlike, by the way. No, no, no. It's only DDR5 memory, the main board, and... Um, only, only. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. And the uh, uh, LC, the liquid cooling. Yes. So I see there is like a, the display. Is that like also a memory cover? Um, you mean the display here? No, yeah. that's not the memory cover. Okay, Let can me you maybe show the display? Yeah. So here's the memory. Yeah. And here's the display. Okay. And I can actually take this out. So later on, I will also show you it's how like to use it externally. It's like, yeah, not really like a phone. As you can see, I have fat fingers right now. <laughs> no, well, probably your fingers are not fat anymore. <laughs> not anymore, now the screen is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can take it out and use it externally. And later on, we'll also demonstrate that. Okay, that looks really nice. So here, you, a lot of the connectors on the side, and those are all covered by the metal cover. In the previous generation, we already had special covers to cover the cables, but they were m still made out of plastic. Um, so to make it feel a lot more premium, they are now, yeah, it's like matte. It's like a crowbar. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it's metal with a matte finish. Feels really nice. It's a bit like the, the sand, sandstone kind of finish. And the buttons, are they on the, on the cover? Or, uh, can you zoom out right a bit? There. Because you're yeah. quite, yeah, close, yeah. So here you have... Reset and a power button. So the buttons are on the main board, not on the on the cable hider thingy. No, they're on the main. How board. do we call? How, uh, what's the name for the cable hider thingy? It's a uh, cable cover. Oh, cable cover. Okay, that's that's about no, the same. So even if you if you take this off, then okay, you yeah, still nice. have the the buttons available. And now let me see if I can put this back on with one hand. There we go. Then let's go to the other side. A lot of angled Eight connectors SATA? here. Or what is it? No, six no, SATA. Six SATA. Then you have two uh, front USB Your type focus A headers. Your focus has a problem. The phone has a problem? Focus. Oh, the focus. Let me a little bit further. It's maybe better. Yeah. 
then we have two type C headers. Wow. So two type C headers for type C and that's like 10 or 20 gig? These are 20 gigabit per second. 220 gig? Yes. Type C? Yes. That, that at least that will become type C? Yeah. And then I see two type uh, of a type A? Yeah. Those only are five gigabits per second. And that's actually four, right? Yeah. For with each header you can connect two front USB. Yeah. Wow. And ports. what's then to the left next to the SATA? Next to the SATA you have their fan connectors. So PWM okay. connectors, four pin. Yeah, focus is really an issue. Yeah, yeah focus this, is this hard. much better. This much better. And then you have an angled 24 pin. Somebody is asking about PATA. And oh. No, PATA no, is not anymore. Parallel ATA, and actually that's a hard drive, IDE. And for hard drives. Next to the 24 pin, you have three more fan connectors. Oh, so angled uh, uh, 24 pins? Yes. Nice. And then three more angled fan connectors and also an angled J rainbow. So that's an addressable RGB header right there. Yeah, and we had a lot of cables for that. Yeah. Let's also take a look at the top side. Some more headers. Debug LED? Debug LED. Indeed. Do you still need this with the big display? Um, well, actually not as much because a lot you can already see on this display itself. Oh, I think the... Is my phone crashing again? I think I've lost connection to you, but my phone is still on. Uh, so maybe oh you can so reconnect. I click again on this. <laughs> is our um, phone also running on Amazon Web Services? <laughs> Yo, yeah, that, that could be. <laughs> I mean, yeah, still there. Okay. Okay. Then let's go to the top. You can already take a sneak peek at the FinStack PRM cooling, but let's first take a look at the connectors. So, so you we got have the, the postcode, right? LED? Yeah, this, it was a full postcode, not only the, the LEDs. So here you have the debug LEDs, there you have the postcode, then you have pump fan header, the uh, Corsair RGB header. This is hard to film right there. I'm in a very difficult position. <laughs> I, I can show everybody. Oh. Oh, how <laughs> was you, like you're this, a difficult yeah. uh, position. I like that. <laughs> and IO? So, yeah. That one is also stacked. Maybe zoom out a bit. Yes. Yeah, that's better. So here you have the clear CMOS, you have a flash BIOS button, you have 2.5 gigabit LAN Intel. Then you have uh, a lot of uh, super speed USB 10 gigabit per second ports. Then you have 10 gigabit LAN right here based on Aquantia. Um, more 10 gigabit per second USB but ports. It doesn't like to focus this uh, phone. Yeah, this is better. Yeah. And these are special ports because one of them uh, you can use to flash your BIOS, so that's with the flash BIOS button. You grab the USB stick, put the BIOS file on there with the right name, of course, formatted in, uh, in the right way, and then you can flash it with the flash BIOS button. And here, this is the M Vision port, and this is what you will be using if you take out the uh, LCD screen. You can connect it with a cable to this USB port. Okay, we can show later, right? Yes, we will show that later. Then here we have two times uh, Thunderbolt. So USB Type-C uh, up to 40 gigabits per second. And next to them, there are mini display port inputs. So what you can do is you can connect um, the display port from your graphics card to your motherboard. And then with a single cable, you can both power the screen and carry the display signal. We will also demonstrate this later. That's, that's not, not a lot of main bots have that, right? No, and also what's interesting about this is that because of the display port input you can take the graphics signal from a graphics card so you can get those gaming performance uh, uh, display signals to that thunderbolt display so it's not the integrated graphics from your cpu but it's actually the graphics from your dedicated graphics card yeah then we have intel wi-fi 6e based on the ax210 uh, 6e somebody was asking about that yes and of course the audio headers with SPD. 24 was asking that indeed, so it's Wi-Fi 6E. Yes, correct. And the audio headers, it, it has the new uh, Realtek USB audio deck and also uh, an ESS uh, amplifier in there. Mm -hmm. So let me put this down again and put the graphics card back on, then we can put it to action. I've got some. Some, some snow from uh, <laughs> yeah actually <laughs> from yeah, there's snow all around here from the I previous know, live yeah. stream. <laughs> well not actual snow but snow and we're not talking about cocaine 
There we go. Are they USB 4.0? Yes. So uh, when ba you have yeah, basically the, the Thunderbolt doubles as, as USB 4.0. Yeah. So those two Thunderbolt connectors are using USB 4.0. But at this moment, I did not see uh, that many USB 4.0 devices on the market, uh, meaning either uh, keys, hard drives, or other storage devices. And yeah, besides storage, uh, you know, which where you need the speed, I don't think there are other uh, uh, purposes for that. But to be honest, I also didn't look into it. So maybe when I talk uh, beginning next year with some vendors, with some storage vendors, maybe they have a more clear roadmap uh, for when this, um, when USB 4 device will come on the market. And then uh, when we can, we will share. Um, Sam is asking, please demo the full uh, slot RAM, please. Thank you. The full slot RAM, how do you mean? Yeah, just the memory, I, I guess. But like uh, demo it in WhatsApp? Well, maybe show it. I mean, that's okay, already yeah, a sure. demo, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. So, so there are four memory slots and currently two are occupied. Yeah, so the, the kit which is included uh, is how much? Uh, 32 gigabytes. So two so times 16 gigabytes of yeah. DDR5, 5200 megahertz. Indeed. I hope, Sam, this uh, uh, covers your question. Yep. When so. can we buy this? Well, uh, Sure. Can you buy this? That's yeah, <laughs> can you buy this? Uh, first of all, we have price. Uh, later, we will talk about that. And then we have exclusivity. Ca oh, Michiel, oh. sorry. Uh, <laughs> can we that. already talk about who can buy this? Yeah, model? let's maybe first explain that before we go uh, yeah. into more details about the board. So the board Please let me know the winner. Hmm, later. <laughs> later, later. Um, so it, it is in really limited quantity. Um, and that's why we decided not just to put it in the shop like we do with regular motherboards um, but you can actually you're only eligible to buy one of the new z690 god likes um, if you have previously pur purchased either uh, an older god like model um, so it needs to be registered on a website and then you can get access to purchasing uh, the MEG Z690 Godlike. There you have it. Godlike owners can become Godlike owners. Yes, yeah, indeed. Or if you have purchased a 3080 or a 3090 graphics card. <laughs> That's nobody. <laughs> well, you would almost think so. <laughs> probably a lot of people ordered it, but <laughs> they don't have it. Yeah, of course, there's there's also shortage. So not everyone can just go out and buy it. Uh, unfortunately, the, the quantity is just too limited to do that. And also, we yeah, we wanted to reward loyal customers. For example, people who've been getting every got like um, before this one, that they also have an opportunity to get this if they want to, of course. Yeah. So. Uh, Dutch is asking, uh, will this come with uh, DDR4? No. Uh, if you look at our uh, Z690 lineup, most of, let, let's say like this, in the, the entry level motherboards are uh, with DDR4 up to, Michiel, uh, Gaming Edge uh, or Carbon? I think they, they already go up to 6666 as well. No, no, no. Which main bus for I support DDR4? Oh, DDR4. Um, there is a version of from uh, Edge is the highest and DDR4 yeah, okay, board so we have. Yeah, that was what I was saying. Then we also have Tomahawk and uh, quite yeah, many so, promo. So entry level is all DDR4 and more the high end one. So everything above Edge is at least DDR. Now even uh, in our more entry level, we also have DDR5. For yeah, oh sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, but like for for the top end models, like the MEG models, they're always DDR5 only. Yeah. So we don't have any enthusiast segment MEG models that support DDR4. So indeed, the highest indeed. end model for DDR4 is the MPG uh, Z690 uh, Edge Wi-Fi. <laughs> Twitch DDR4 being a pita for the last hour. Anyway, Twitch is back, it seems. Um, and then there is one more um, criteria for being able to purchase a godlike motherboard because not every region, um, it, it's not possible in every region. That has to do with for example, previous sales of Godlike. So especially the, the countries where Godlike has always been um, uh, a more popular motherboard, those are, of course, have more customers that are even eligible to buy one. Um, that's the one where Godlike so will be sold. it's not easy to get Godlike? No. Okay. Well, if you're a Godlike owner and you live in the right country, then, then it's relatively easy. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and what about... Um uh, when is it going MP? When is it going into mass production? Um, it is already into to mass production, but it, of course it will take a while before so it when will can actually people, become available. When can those selected people 
ooh, hard to put an exact date to it, but I, I would uh, say I would, like I we're talking next week or January? earliest end of January, beginning of February. Okay. So, so, no, so not before Christmas. We're not quite early with this. Yeah. Sorry? We're quite early showing it. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're very early showing it. Because this is, this is the first time that it's been showing in, in full detail. Um, yeah. So you may have seen some teasers before. Um, it actually also won um, the uh, CES award. Yeah, I, I can, uh, one moment. I can show that to everybody. Uh, so uh, this is the, um, uh, where is it? Mm, 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 mm. No. It's this one. Yes. Yes. There we so go. this is the CES website, um, and it won. Uh, CES is an event which will be held. Let me see what date uh, on the fifth of January. Uh, CES will start. CES is an event in Las Vegas. Uh, CES uh, 2020. And uh, Godlike won the innovation award. And yeah, Michiel will show you a lot of innovations today, uh, so you understand why. Um, but yeah, you probably in January you will see more about uh, this. Can you maybe also show the page oh, uh, yeah. with our different godlike models? Yeah, oh, here. The, the page with different godlike Yeah, that's models. also this one. Yeah. Um, here you can also see which regions are eligible. So it shows on top, I think, uh, on top of the register now button. PFC, JP, so that's actually China, uh, Japan, uh, Korea, Australia, Taiwan, uh, EA. What is it? Ooh, I don't know this country. Um, uh, uh, I em think Emirates. it's the Arabic Emirates. Yeah, 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 indeed. Uh, Thailand, Vietnam, USA, Germany, UK, Spain, France, Russia, uh, Denmark, uh, Finland, Sweden, and Norway. So limited amount of countries. And for a limited amount of people. So, and this is the timeline you were talking about? Yes, so you can see our Ooh, earlier godlike nice. models. That's nice. So, so yeah. this is actually the one we were talking about earlier, the red one. So actually this is uh, wrong because uh, this got like, this one was first on the market. This is in the wrong order. Is, the, <laughs> is it? Is that a godlike on the left as well? Uh, the very left one. Yes. It's uh, the, the game oh, yeah, garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, first we had the, this uh, red model on the market, and then we got feedback already during CES uh, from customers. Uh, so but you back see in the day, MSI was black and red. That was just yeah. But this MSI. was also the first godlike, the first model with, with uh, uh, RGB, and um, at that moment we got a lot of feedback. Uh, like uh, actually RGB, it was like R, <laughs> just the red color. You could change it, of course, but it was not like what we have now. This is like 2015. Uh, so that's like a uh, long time ago. And then we came up with this model after that. So I, I believe they're in the wrong order, but uh, let me check. So year after, uh, got like uh, Z370, got like gaming. You already see that the look and feel changed a uh, lot. Not only uh, multi RGB, um, different kind of heatsink, different kind of design. So this one looked quite aggressive. Also came uh, with the adding card for uh, two extra M.2 slots. So this one actually already had five M.2 slots. Then we go to one year later, October. So that's Z490. No, we still have a um, Z390. Yeah, Z390. Oh, this is also Z390. That's a oh, 370. 370. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So small updated design. Uh, we had this mirror effect in the heatsink. This one doesn't show uh, all the RGB LED, but of course it had RGB. We also had the display here. Uh, it started with a, a very small display. I'm sure you saw that. Yes, dynamic dashboard. It was. Yeah. It didn't have any colors, for example. So. Indeed, and this one had also a two extra M.2. So one, two, three, uh, four, five, and this one. I, the I gaming boost capture card. Oh yeah, the capture card. Yeah. I forgot what it was, but we used that one as well. Yeah. Yeah, indeed, in the past. And then uh, July, one year later, we had the X570 godlike. So this was, the, I believe, the first AMD godlike. You still see the, uh, the, the, the fan over there because the X570 needed the fan. But in reality, it's almost uh, always passive because we use zero frother. So yeah, only and only in specific circumstances it yeah, needs indeed. it. Yeah, indeed. Uh, this one came with uh, 10 gigabit LAN adding card, uh, Wi-Fi, and again, this is a newer version uh, because uh, X570 was uh, supporting uh, PCI Express Gen 4. Needs uh, uh, cooling, you know, to, to get the most amount of speed of it. Uh, oh, 
that's not what there I want. There we have it. <laughs> yeah, there we have it. Anyway, uh, I clicked on it by accident. Uh, so this one came with a very thick heat sink and an active fan. Yeah, you so could switch it off. It, it depends a bit on wh which SSD you're yeah. using, whether or not you need yeah. it. Yeah, well, small switches on the top. Yeah. Uh, then Z490. Again, uh, a lot of improvements on the model. Then uh, Z590, and this is what uh, Peter earlier already said. Uh, this was the basis for the new design. So you see, it looks. You can see some design yeah. elements that are that were already introduced with Z590 that come back in the Z690 model. For sure. Yeah, and for the first time, you also see this is the motherboard with a Wi-Fi antenna and uh, with the M.2 uh, adding card. This is the motherboard with the Wi-Fi antenna with uh, DDR5 memory with the uh, S360 liquid cooling, and this one has six, right? Six M.2 slots. Six M.2 slots. Wow. Okay. So this is the website. Uh, it's still not available on, uh, like what I said, we're quite early. <laughs> it's still not on our website if you go to Watch New. Let me see. No. But you will probably see that like in the coming days. Probably yeah. they will have a press release out. We're just early. We, we like to get new stuff and show you. <laughs> Sometimes a bit too early. Yeah, and in the coming weeks you will also be able to find more detailed information and for the, the motherboard. I'm so. sure uh, some editors will also review this uh, motherboard. Yeah. So, yeah. So, can you do some live demos? Um, yes. Or, okay. Uh, but let's first maybe remind giveaway. people of our giveaway. Yeah. Thank so you, Twitch. So, I assume uh, Twitch is working again. Let me refresh the giveaway. Hmm, it's still not, I see a lot of entries. Yeah, so entries actually doubled compared to, let's say, half an hour ago. So it seems to be working for most. If not, continue pushing the refresh button. What are the VRMs like? Strong, very strong. <laughs> <laughs> later more about yeah, that. Yeah, later more about that. Let's maybe take a look at a bit of the slides and we can go and buy everything feature by feature. And you, we will show okay. everything on the board along the way. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, so a huge board. We already mentioned the CES uh, award 2022. So still the CES that still needs to happen. Uh, early January, of course, um, as always uh, in, uh, in Las Vegas. So this is basically the, the most insane motherboard we have ever made. It's also uh, for sure the, the, the biggest consumer grade motherboard I've ever seen. Um, and yeah, that's something you have to keep in mind when getting a case for this board because it won't fit in every, uh, not even every extended ATX case because e extended ATX is not always the same width and some cases can support extended ATX up to a certain width. Um, but this one really, it needs a big case. Early Mikhail, next year, expect. Maybe talk about price because I saw some people, no price talk. Yes. We just forgot, we know the yes. price. It, it's not cheap. Um, it's godlike, so it's it's maxed out in terms of feature set, but it also means it became an expensive motherboard. Um, in US and DDR5. Dollar, DDR5, of course. It's 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 a, it's like a combined price, of course, with the DDR5 and the Core Liquid S360. But in US dollar, it's uh, 2,099 US dollar, excluding VAT. Or in euros, it's 2,229 euros, including 20% VAT. Of course, it depends per country. Uh, how high the VAT is, so the, the actual price may differ a little bit per country. Um, but when taking the, the European average of 20%, um, it will be 22, 29 euros, including 20% VAT. So that's think, with the I DDR5 think if we calculate the, the price of the uh, liquid cooling and the memory, uh, it's, a, it's a good deal. Yeah, of course. It, it, yeah, it's a top-end product. It's yeah, not it's cheap. It's a complete it's package. Not, yeah, it's, it's made to be a flagship product. Um, you can see it in the feature set, but yes, you can also see it in the price. I'm not going to deny that. Yeah. So yes, this is Alder Lake. This is definitely Alder Lake. Yeah. Um, Envision dashboard. We have asking um, 2099 US dollar. Yes, correct. 2099 US dollar. The 39 is cheaper, yeah, but you cannot get a 39. <laughs> <laughs> and, and probably you cannot also not get this main board. Yeah, it is. It is hard to obtain for sure. Yeah. Um, so yeah, of course, one of the key features of the motherboard is the M Vision dashboard, and that's um, the LCD screen that's included on on this motherboard. Um, but you can take it out. So it's a 3.5 inch IPS uh, display in there. It has a resolution of uh, 480 times 800 pixels. 
Um, it is a touch panel, so also when you take it out, uh, but also when it's in a motherboard, you can control it with your fingers. Um, I will also demonstrate that later to you. Um, it has a magnetic connection. Can you so already take it out and uh, show yeah, the digital cam? Oh well, yeah, that's also Let possible. Let me take the camera so you can just pop it out like that. So this is the screen. There is also a speaker in the back. So actually when you boot up the system, um, I can let you hear that later as well. You hear lucky roar in the background. <laughs> yeah, they also asked me to make some samples for you guys like, good morning. So if you wake up, you hear me. Um, and it also has a magnetic connector right here. So with the USB cable, you can attach it to that USB port and you can use it externally. And can you show the display with the lights on? Or like maybe on the main board or with the cable? Yeah, yeah, let me just put it back because I need to grab the cable later on. There we go. It's currently in horizontal direction, so in, in landscape mode. You can switch this in the software, by the way. So you can also put it in, in portrait mode. Yeah, without so studio lights, it's difficult to show. Yeah, but yeah like let this, me I quickly grab my touch pen so you don't get any issues with my fatty fingers when I control it. So I've got a very cool MSI Where did you pen. get that? <laughs> I actually uh, got it from the local marketing team. Oh, cool. <laughs> I asked, do you maybe have a touch pen because I have fatty fingers, <laughs> as you can already see a little bit on the screen. Um, so here you can control it, it's currently... But isn't it better to use fingers? Uh, no, it doesn't no. matter that much, okay. both works. Um, you have the basic mode and you have the advanced mode. So here you see you need MSI Center in order to use the advanced mode. That's for example where uh, you can put shortcuts to different applications. So let's go back to the basic so mode. So what's the resolution of the screen? It's um, 480 times 800 pixels. Okay, nice. So here you can, for example, see the temperature, see um, the speed of the liquid cooling pump. Um, you can put an alarm on this and it will also work with uh, the audio of the speaker itself. So here you can put a time and then it will set your alarm. Um, it's a bit hard to get it. The lights are super annoying. Okay, okay. what I'm <laughs> going to do, lights out, lights out. Yeah, mode. that's maybe better. Yeah, that's much better. And here you have some quick controls. So here, for example, um, you can adjust you the CPU clock. You want me to, clock, so to uh, take the cam? Um, no, this is okay. I can do this. Um, here you can change the CPU clock. I'm not clock. shaking can, like an old guy. You can clear <laughs> the CMOS. You have safe boot available, OC retry, uh, shut down, restart. So maybe I can show you right now. PC is running. So let's shut it down through this. It will ask you for confirmation. Do you want to shut it down? Yes, I do. And then shutting down if it wants to focus. Yeah, this uh, camera today has some focus issues. Yeah, it's having a difficult time. Now it's switched off. So this is, for example, something you can control. And then with the button on the board, you can start the motherboard again, uh, right? I think you could even start it. I think I have to set that correct in, in MSI Center, but then you can even use the screen to boot it up as well. Okay, nice. I think later on also, wh when I use it externally, I can show you that. Still too many lights. So now you can also see the nice RGB if it wants to focus. I don't know what this camera has. Uh, it's having a hard time with the <laughs> lighting is, circumstance. Yeah, this is... Also the RGB on the M.2 slots. So this is tempered glass. It's not plastic on top, it's tempered glass on top. And of course, the screen. So can you switch the lights back on? Uh, yeah, I need to make some manual adjustments to that. One moment. In the meanwhile, uh, you, uh, you need to select the right scene. I cannot because I don't have the capture here. <laughs> Which scene? 
Uh, nobody sees anything. No, see that's phone. okay. You select the, the. You there. I don't have to capture here. <laughs> yeah, okay, but you can already select another scene. No, no, I need to capture. Oh then my I can God! Show <laughs> Just go first. There. I always need to see that I don't have here. Capture. There we go. So let's start up MSI Center. Eric is fine tuning the lights in the meanwhile. Yeah. So it's getting a little bit brighter. Do, 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 do. Yes. That's better. Um, so because the motherboard is not on the market yet, we got a, a very early software version. Um, so it's not 100% perfect yet. I noticed it doesn't even have the final name for the Envision uh, uh, screen on there. I'm sure it will crash again. It's always. So here it still says Dynamic Dashboard 3, but that's not okay. the name. And as you can see, it disappeared again. So that's how early this stuff still is. Better, better, better. Let me reconnect the screen quickly. Takes a while to recognize and it should pop up there. How do we sign up to win? Go to msi.com slash two slash insider yes. or on YouTube and Twitch if Twitter Twitch is running, but I see some people uh, commenting on uh, Twitch. So it should be up again. Uh, the, we have a spam bot which uh, post each five minutes a gleam link you can click on that and participate so today we're going to give away z690 carbon wi-fi before i show you DDR the software or ddr5 um this ddr5 oh ddr5 yeah okay cool the carbon is only in ddr5 oh yeah, stupid, our highest stupid end model question um let's take a look at the the screen how you can Ian use knows. it externally ian come here you can take over from me so let me take out the screen can you go to the detailed view? Because here you have the, um, well, it's like a magnetic connector. And there is a special cable included. And I think it's in this direction it should be. And then you connect it to the Envision port on the motherboard. And then it switches back on. Yeah, I think now we can already see it much better. Can you switch to the capture? Capture, capture, capture. There, there you see all the stuff that you can control. Or you want to do the side the by side? Uh, no, not yet, not yet. Okay. Let's first go through it a little bit because okay. you can do, do several things in here. So you can, for example, do a hardware monitor. Here you have all kinds of different options. So you can select whatever you want here. Temperatures, fan speeds, voltages, hardware status. Um, so you can use all of those and you can just se select whichever you wa want. So for example, if I want uh, the CPU core, the, the PCH, um, and I press apply, then can you go to the side by side? Um, side by side. Then you see that it will cycle in between the ones I selected. So, for example, if I switch this from, to, if I want to switch this, for example, to the um, the pump speed and uh, CPU voltage, press apply. There's the pump speed, and then it will cycle to the CPU voltage after that. There we go. So currently it's an idle, so it's really low. So, so Michiel, maybe a good question for somebody. How mm -hmm. does the board look when the when the display is removed? Can you show that? Yeah, sure. So here you also see the magnetic connector. And what does it say? It says oh. one board to rule them all. Oh, cool. And then you have it here separately. Um, Something else you can do with it is... Uh, Play games on it? Mm, not yet, but maybe some smart people can get it to work, I okay. don't know. <laughs> but you can uh, put a video or your own image in there. Let me find something to put this against, so I can angle it a bit, then it's easier to see. And there we go. You, you want me to hold it? No, I think... 
Is it properly visible? No, yeah, no lights. Yeah, like yeah. this. Still a lot of lights. <laughs> maybe maybe put, a sh uh, put it upside down. Upside down? No, yeah, no, no. that's maybe strange. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is like doable. this. Okay, um, something else you can do is add in your own um, image or video. So I, for example, have a video right here. Right, you need to make sure it's in the, um, in the right direction. So for example, I have a landscape video, then you need to put the, the block in, or the, the screen into landscape mode. If you want to have it in portrait, of course, then you also need to switch that. You can do it right there. Uh, no, Raffer, uh, this, this Mvision dashboard is not separately available. No, it's part of the God Light. Yeah. So now I added my own video in here. And if I press apply, then it will show the video oh, cool. on the screen. But then I'm also sure we can make YouTube to work. Yeah, like if you if you download the video and show it, then it would already work. I'm not sure if you can get it to no, work. No, that would be cool that we can stream YouTube to it. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool. You can watch the MSI inside a live stream on your Godlight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is for the nerds. Yeah, indeed. And what you can also do is, for example, pick an image. So here I got our nice Christmas promotion image. Wireless Bluetooth. No, the, the connection is uh, with a USB, magnetic USB connector, or it's on the board. And Bluetooth is always wireless. So let's press apply. So it's currently selected. Apply. And then it will show the image of our... Oh, this was the last week. Yeah. For our Grand Christmas Carnival. Nice. So you can, can put in there whatever you like. You can put in your own images, your own videos. Um, you can use either landscape or portrait, depending on what you want. So you can... Um, can you go to full screen capture? Uh, full screen capture, yes. yes. You can change that right here. So here you get the different options. Right now it's in, in landscape mode. Um, but of course, when I, for example, um, let me put in the system clock, then you can easily see how it turns with it. Again to uh, capture yeah. side by side? Yeah, side by side. So here you see the clock and the date. If I change the direction and put it in, in a portrait way, then of course this will also turn with it. Nice. So let's put it back into... Why is there a mute get, button? The mute button is because there is a speaker in the back of this. So this will, for example, roar when the computer is booting up. Uh, can you demo? I can demo later on, later on. Okay. Because okay. I, then I need to, to reboot the system. I'm not sure if you can... Yeah, you can also actually use it for an alarm. Um, here, you can use your own sound effects. So here you can select an audio file, and then play. It There's a play, play button in, in oh. the back. Uh, yeah, but that's only if ah, you selected okay. your custom one, mm. I think. Maybe you can set the alarm one minute in the future? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, let me see. This is also new for us. Yeah, but that's something I have to do on the screen itself. I will show you later on. Let's first okay, uh, okay, okay. finish this part. Live weather. You don't want to know what, what kind of weather it's here. It's uh, cold. <laughs> we can actually check. <laughs> Found Sunny, our location. this is a demo. <laughs> I think it will take a little bit to, yeah, to find out. Oh, right it already location. has it. Can you go to the split screen? Uh, split screen, yes. Actually, it's it's quite warm now. UV index. Zero really sun. Hit. Yeah, zero sun. High humidity. But for the time of yeah. the year, it's not that cold. No, it's like December, 8 degrees is fine. Yeah. Normally it's 7. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or it can be freezing as well. So no, yeah, yeah it's, not no, it, it's gray outside, but it's not, not that cold. Uh, in the customized banner feature, you can also um, put in your own image or pick one of the presets and then put in your own text. So for example, um, hello from Lucky. Um, let's pick that background. Apply. I think split screen. I think I need to select something here as well. Because this is actually also the first time I'm doing this. Oh, upload. Maybe this function. Ah, there it goes. No, it, uh, oh. And now I should press apply, I think. New stuff, always nice will, to find out. And the text will slide 
into the at least it does in my preview. So okay. I have to figure out how this works. Exactly. Can you show the, the preview? Yeah, right here it shows. Okay, red text. Now, ah, you can also change the color, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Can nice. make it green. Yeah. Anyway, uh, demo software or beta software, we're uh, still working on that. Yes. Yeah, so and we didn't have a lot of time to play around with it. It's still in progress, for sure. Um, you can also change the brightness of the screen. So right here, you can just uh, adjust uh, it. One moment, Press. I will take side by side. Yeah. Um. Let me go back to our system clock. And let's change the brightness a little bit. So right now it's at 100%. So let's decrease it, for example, to... Okay, yeah. 10%. <laughs> and it's Joshua wants to play Skyrim or Doom on it. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> So yeah, quite a lot you can do with the screen itself. Let's go back to our PPT. So here you have a little bit of an overview. Um, yeah. So system operation, um, you can do several things with it. System info, uh, something that I found very useful is earlier today, I was actually flashing the BIOS of this motherboard um, and I was using the flash BIOS button to do that. And it also shows you on the screen when you're flashing. So it shows you that it's currently flashing. It shows you when flashing the BIOS is finished. Um, also when you, for example, um, if you have any debug issues, um, it will also show it on the screen. So for example, if you have a GPU issue, then it will show it. If it has a RAM issue, it will show it on the screen. And will, then of course- Will it show my on. issues? I don't think we have enough space on the screen for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, so I can, for example, show you how it looks when, let me switch this off and take out the graphics card to see how it responds. So right now it's switched off. Can you switch to my camera? As you no. can see, it's currently, oh, now it's also switched off. Okay, let me remove the graphics card. There we go. And then try to boot up. I should do side by of uh, the, the droid? Yeah. yeah. So um, it didn't make the sound uh, to boot up, right? No, oh. but it does say VGA error. Oh, well, cool. that's correct, because <laughs> there's no VGA in there. It's kind of missing. I oh, don't nice. know why it's currently not running the sound, because that should be working when booting. But yeah, still very early, <laughs> early software. Maybe you, you put it on mute. Could be that I accidentally did that. So let me switch this off again, put the GPU back in. Maybe we can, uh, I'm not sure, uh, maybe we can talk about the SSD. Yeah, I, actually that's a, a good idea because now it's easier to reach them. Yeah, let so me first unscrew it. Okay, um, so we're going to talk first a little bit about the VRM. Yeah, so it's got an extremely strong VRM. So this is a direct 20 phase VRM design and the 20 phase is just for the V core only, so just for the CPU. Um, and there are 105 amp smart power stages. Um, so yeah, it's, it's basically the, the strongest you can get on, on a motherboard nowadays. It also has a lot of cooling and it adds a lot of weight to the motherboard. So the motherboard itself is over three kilograms. Can you click through? Then you will see the multiple. It has a yeah, so aluminum cover hink, um, heat sink with the ex uh, cover with the extended heat sink. So let me, can you go to the close up cam? Yeah. A detailed one, yeah. I will turn this a little bit here. You can see that it goes completely over the I.O. ports, so that's still all cooling. Then you have the FinStack. I will need well, my you, mobile you, you camera for that. You should read from the slide. It's actually called Michiel Wavy. Wavy Fin Design. Yeah, we're discussing with Asia. We're like, Wavy? Come on, guys. This is not Wavy. 
it's basically what we're it's comparable to what we do with the graphics cards, and there it's called wave curved fin design. So yeah. I think yeah, it should be. If the you're same drunk, way. wavy is wave. <laughs> uh, wave is wavy. <laughs> Can you go to my digital camera the, uh, or the yeah. the right cam? Yeah, there you see the fin stack heat sink. And I'm not sure if you can already see it a little bit in between. You need to uh, point with your finger. Um, yeah, but I, <laughs> it's upside down for me. Uh, right there in between. Yes. And then go a little bit. Yeah, there. Oh, this is really hard. Yeah, <laughs> there we are. Heat pipes. You can see the heat pipes in there. Two of so them. If you go, yeah, two of them. So if you go back to the PPT. Mm. It's a lot of sweat. You asked me, Erik, can you help today? Yeah. You didn't say, like, I need to push all the buttons the yeah, whole time. Yeah, you have to stay time. awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you've got multiple heat pipes there. But that's not all. Because the M.2 Shield Frozer, of course, you're familiar with M.2 Shield Frozer. That's the, the SSD cooling on the motherboard. Um, but in this case, it's magnetic. And that's actually pretty cool, I think. Because can we let me let me grab this. OK. So I just unscrewed this one. You can pull it out. Right now you see our Spatian M482 terabyte SD in there. Um, but what you can see right here, that's the magnetic connector. Focus, yeah. Um, and you can see that there are little pins in there. And that's because this will also um, give the, the power and the signal for the RGB lighting in the M.2 Shield Frozer heatsink. So in this shiny part, there's RGB lighting. So let me quickly power this on. So you see the RGB lighting right here on the other ones. And if I push wow. this in, very cool. it's automatically connected. So that's the, the, the magnetic connection. Yeah, but you still need to screw it down, right? Just to be sure you have enough pressure. <laughs> yeah, on the just to have it properly fixed. Also, if you, especially if you want to transport your computer and you want, yeah. you want to make sure it stays in there. Um, I would definitely fix it with the screw holes, but it's it's very easy that you can easily just grab it out and drop it down in there, and then it will automatically um, enable the, the RGB without any cables. Well, really impressive. So it totally looks like Mac safe. It is a comparable kind of connector, I would say. It's like it's a yeah, it's a magnetic connector with pins in there. But so yeah, don't I, I use your MagSafe connector to uh, charge your motherboard. No, it's it's not the same <laughs> connector. It's not pin-to-pin -pin compatible. Okay, good. So don't don't do that. <laughs> don't try it at home. But indeed, it's it's a similar kind of connector, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't want to show this, or are you you are going to unscrew everything? Um, no, I'm not going to unscrew everything. It takes that, too yeah. much time. But let's talk a little bit about it because, as we mentioned before, this motherboard has got six M.2 slots. Wow. All on the motherboard itself, so no adding card needed. Let me screw this back in, so I will point to you on the motherboard where they are. You can already see it on, on this image, but let me show you with the heat sinks on there. Let me screw this back in. Um, so of course there's one right here that you just saw, then you've got two underneath each other right here, then you've got, got one on the left, one more here on the right, and then there is one vertical one right here. So if we go back to the slide, there you can properly see it again. Um, and the third one is actually PCI Express Gen 5. So it's not only the, the um, graphics card slot here that is PCI Express Gen 5, but you can also get um, PCI Express Gen 5 on your M.2 slot. Um, and this one is, uh, I think it's switchable with the secondary. I still need to get confirmation uh, about this, but I think it's in the, in the third slot because it's switchable with the secondary times 16 slot right there. Yeah, I so think that's the reason, but I need to have that confirmed. So, yeah, so on a, on yeah. a lot of don't uh, quote me on it. Like Z590 uh, boards, you have the first slot as a PCI Yeah, you Express usually Gen expect 4. the one closest to the CPU to be the highest generation, yeah. but here because you you have 16 lanes in total, PCI Express Gen 5 lanes from a 12th Gen Intel Core CPU, and you're going to you split. You should say you only have 16 lanes because in the previous yeah. generation you had like. 16 lanes for the GPU and yeah, then often uh, four you have four dedicated lanes for yeah yeah on Gen 4, but now Gen 5, it's only 16 lanes. Correct. Um, so basically, you you have to make it switchable, so you can define your your lanes to to multiple uh, slots, or, or uh, in this case, it's 
if you split them up, you can, for example, use times eight on your graphics card and enable the PCI Express Gen 5 SSD. Or you can, for example, have two PCI Express Gen 5 adding cards in the primary slot and in the secondary slot. Um, for the M.2 slot, so it's one Gen 5 slot, then you have four Gen 4 slots and one Gen 3 slot. You may be wondering why still add Gen 3 in. Well, basically, we're out we of Gen 4 lanes, no, but right? if you still want to have more no. SSDs, sorry? Yeah, maybe it was like highlighted on the on the bar, but we only highlight Gen 5 here. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know which one it is, actually. I also I asked for that yeah. information. But we, uh, we just got this board in. So yeah, it's we just like, got this board whoa, in. Whoa, new stuff. Cool, I play with it. expect it to be the vertical one on the right, yeah, yeah. but I'm not sure about yeah, close it. Close to the chipset? Yeah, I would expect it to be that one, uh, but I'm not sure. Um, so you have one Gen 5, four Gen 4, and one Gen 3 and 2. So mm. six and the two slots in total. Somebody kn knows how to make a presentation. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool, huh? Yeah. So they're equipped with dual-sided M.2 Shield Frozer. And oh, no, I just closed this. Let me open it up again, because it's quite easy to see on that slot. So if we go back to our motherboard. Well, uh, people in the chat are talking about price. The prices uh, are correct, uh, 2,099 uh, US dollar and 2,200 euros, including 20% VAT. The it's not only a main board, because uh, there is also DDR5 in the packing, and there is also our S360 uh, liquid cooling in the packing. So we're not only, yeah, indeed, <laughs> Michiel. So we're not only talking about main board price, and this is uh, as a bundle available, not as a separate motherboard. At least not at, at, at this point. Not yeah. sure if we're going to do that at all, but... Yeah. So yeah, dual-sided M.2 Shield Frozer. So you got cooling on the top, of course, with a thermal pad on there, but also cooling on the bottom. And that's especially for an SSD like this one, the uh, M480 2 terabyte, because the 2 terabyte model has got chips on both sides. So it will also generate heat on both sides. And with dual-sided M.2 Shield Frozer, you also cool it on both sides. So it's not just a thermal pad underneath, it's actually a heat sink as well. So yeah, it's maybe a little bit hard to see, but you can see that there is a metal pad underneath and the thermal pad is on top of that metal heat sink. Yeah, and this we had a, a live stream with Fison uh, like a few months ago talking about uh, our SSDs, uh, also talking about future SSDs. So SSDs are getting faster, meaning they generate more heat and in order to uh, keep sustainable performance, they need to be cooled. And that's why you see all the heat sinks on the motherboards and also on the separate, like the M480, we also have a heat sink version. Yeah. I want to buy one, Michiel. <laughs> it looks <laughs> awesome. So yeah, it, it depends a bit on, on, on the exact SSD you have, if dual-sided M.2 Shield Frozer is, is necessary or not. Um, but especially with... Uh, upcoming SSDs and because this board also supports PCI Express Gen 5. Actually a couple of months ago I think we had a stream together uh, with Fison. Um, they're also the, um, the partner that we work with to make our, our SSDs and they already talked a little bit about what we can expect of, of future SSDs and with future generations SSDs will get a lot faster but also consume more power so cooling will become increasingly important with future generations. Can you clean the lens? That's a good, somebody said Clean in the, the lens. Chat. Yeah, I think Jesse or something. I'm not reading the chat. Which lens? From the camera. From yeah. this one? Yeah. Probably your fat finger. I think so. I saw it and I was like, yes. <laughs> it's got four lenses. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? In? Oh, Tessie. Sorry, uh, not Jesse. Tessie, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's indeed a good, uh, good advice. <laughs> Uh, August is asking, is that a Spatium M.2? Yes, it is. Um, Nimax is asking, uh, Logo Dragon MSI, not RGB. I will show you the, the RGB on this part. So it is an RGB effect with the Dragon integrated in there. So it's not the, the Dragon itself that is illuminated, but it's still, yeah, it's really so hard to get put this out on the lights properly. again. So this it's a dragon within the tempered glass, basically. Yeah, this is a lot better. <coughs> so this is the effect you're oh, getting. And then the last la last lamp. So the illumination is on the side, but especially when it's dark, you can still 
clearly see the, the RGB in the dragon because it's inside the tempered glass. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, there is also RGB. Yeah, on the side that's next to the Okay, maybe put the, the display on? Yeah. It still says it VGA still says error. <laughs> error because I still didn't put the graphics card in. Let me put this back in here. There we go. But yeah, I, I really like this effect. I think it, yeah, you don't have to illuminate the dragon because it, yeah, it works with the RGB on the side. Uh, and and uh, Peter, the designer said, don't touch, of don't let Michiel touch the glass. Yeah. <laughs> Or, otherwise it will break. <laughs> the tempered glass. No, it is probably not tempered glass. Th th it is tempered glass. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. The That's also, it, it adds to the weight. That's also one of the reasons why it's, it's th over three kilograms. Oh, oh, it's not just oh, the cooling oh, on the motherboard, oh, oh. but it's also the tempered glass that you will find um, Michiel. on top of the heat source. <coughs> yes. I touched by accident the, the temperature of oh, the lights. It's getting really warm in here all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, one moment. <laughs> I, need to, I need to fix Eric just that. made our studio lights very <laughs> yellow. So it's, uh, uh, we need to go back to uh, 5500K. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> a moment. Uh, shall I do the next slide that you can talk yes, yes, a bit yes. about? Yeah, open them all up. Uh, 5500K, Kelvin. Yeah. So Kelvin. It, it's got um, dual PCI Express Gen 5 slots. So that's the, the primary and the secondary, let me quickly show you, slot on the motherboard. Um, there we go. So these two can support PCI Express Gen 5, and they're switchable. You've got 16 lanes out of your CPU, so these will split up in two times PCI Express Gen 5 with eight lanes. But eight lanes in PCI Express Gen 5 can offer the same bandwidth as 16 lanes of PCI Express Gen 4. Chef, now not touch such the light anymore. Uh, let me see. Then you get DDR5 memory support with uh, memory boost technology and on this board the ddr5 supports up to 6666 megahertz um, as you may notice it's not the highest we have on any of our motherboards because our unify x and our uh, z690 i unify motherboards so the mini itx1 and our two dim uh, atx unify they can go even higher with official support for uh, 6800 megahertz Um, but that's of course because there are only two DIMM boards and the Godlike is a four DIMM board. Two DIMMs will give you a, a clearer memory signal so allows you for even higher clock speeds. But yeah, Unify X is, is really targeted at overclocking um, and for Godlike we really wanted to include uh, those four DIMM uh, possibilities. Um, can a light be activated by music? I don't hmm. think it can that at this point, nice. but that's uh, that's something I will definitely feedback if if they can maybe implement that. Could be cool. And then also with if you attach some RGB strips, you can get like a disco at home. Got like disco. Got like disco. Um, then oh, one moment, one moment. I need yeah. to remind everybody oh. uh, we have a giveaway today. Uh, let's Let me to quickly grab our prize. Yeah, indeed. So people uh, can see. This is a giveaway today. Yes. <laughs> a, a bit smaller box, but uh, it will have it to It seems do. like a very small motherboard, but it's yeah. an ATX motherboard. The Only MPG DDR5. The D690 Carbon Wi-Fi. Indeed. If you want to join, go to msi.com slash two slash insider uh, or in uh, YouTube and Twitch, if Twitch is working. Don't know. I see a lot of entries, so I guess Twitch is working and I guess uh, Gleam is working again. So in uh, Twitch and YouTube, you see the spam bot uh, spamming a Gleam link. You can click on that and participate. And good luck to you. So that's the yes. the commercial we have. It's not really well, commercial. It's the giveaway we have. Yeah, the giveaway. Now let me grab this board because yes, I've got two godlikes today. It's a little bit easier to show you the. So those are the front um, Type C headers. So the the dual. Uh, front Type-C headers, so both of them can support up to 20 gigabits per second. I think this is only the, the, the only main button on the market who has that, right? I believe at this point it is, indeed. Yeah. I think so. And I'm not 100% certain, but I think it, uh, I haven't seen it before. No. I have seen front USB 20G. Yep. Um, still quite limited. It's only a couple of motherboards that, that have that nowadays. The, the problem over there is also you need to find ri the right case, uh, yes. which is not only supporting 20 gig uh, USB, because uh, it needs to have the right cable for the signal uh, strength. Can I open back the chat, by the way? 
Oh, oh yes, sir, yeah. Um, but yeah, you also need to then find one with two if you want to benefit from that. Yeah. But more and more cases with these features are coming on the market because this is just a market trend. I think in the end, you will see less USB type A in the future and more USB type C. Yeah. Type C is on yeah. the case. Uh, not yeah, in general. I think for everything you will see more type C. Um, uh, speed, also, uh, higher speeds are, uh, are yeah. getting the standard uh, also on the motherboards. Yeah, so yes. Uh, yeah, and even for example, if you have uh, USB 20G, um, that is always over Type C. It's not officially supported on USB Type A. So um, Denise uh, is uh, has a very good case of a, a very good question. What yeah. case would fit that godlike motherboard? I think we don't know, right? We actually are working on one. <laughs> that, that's all I no, can tell. No, but there are, yeah, okay. <laughs> but do, uh, do but we yeah, already have a compatibility list? Uh, well, from our current cases, it would fit a couple, but. I wouldn't say that they are supported because the board is so big that it will block the cable management holes of the cases we have in our current lineup. So if you would ask me, I would say none of our current cases are, are supporting this, <laughs> this motherboard. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, uh, we need to make a special case that. for this. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. There will be a, a case very soon that will support this. Very nice case. Yes. Um, oh, wait, let me keep this here because let's quickly take a look at the audio jacks. So you get five three and a half millimeter jacks and you get the uh, um, optical SP diff. Why is the, anyway, and the light? And it's the new Realtek USB audio codec with an ESS deck in there. Go. So yeah, it has dual LAN. Um, the, whoa, the primary one is 2.5 uh, gigabit Intel. The secondary one, or maybe I should say the other way around, the primary one is a 10 gigabit one, and the secondary one is Intel 2.5 gigabit one. The 10 gigabit is an Aquantia one. Um, also has Intel Wi-Fi 6E, so that's the one that can also support um, the 6 gigahertz frequency band, uh, next to, of course, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Um, it also supports Bluetooth, I believe it's version 5.2 already, right? Yeah, Bluetooth. indeed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all of that modern connectivity you're getting. Will there be a Ryzen godlike version? There is already X570 uh, godlike yeah. version, and uh, no doubt in the future, we cannot talk about when, there will be another Ryzen godlike. Okay. And of course, dual Thunderbolt 4. So that's the, the two USB Type-C ports. Um, but also the... the uh, you want to talk about the cable? Yeah, let's maybe um, grab a screen and show you how it works with the display port. I'm first going to switch off the system. Because you need to add your GPU in. I need a GPU in, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm going to ha use the, the cable that comes included in the box to connect the graphics card to the motherboard. And then with a single cable from the motherboard to the screen, you can power it and get the display signal from your graphics card to your monitor. So uh, MW is asking, will the Leon Lee uh, Dynamics XL work? To be honest, uh, I don't know at this moment because this is brand new and it's not yeah. yet on the market. So it's not on the market yet. But best to, to check the dimensions when uh, our product page is up uh, with yeah. the and support. And probably for we the will the also have a compatibility kit. list in which cases yeah. this fit, uh, fits. Uh, but yeah, now it's too early. And we, yeah, we got the opportunity to have this mainboard on hand. So we said, OK, let's do a live stream about it. But that also means that we didn't have time to check all the 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 documents uh yeah we wanted to have this as early as possible yeah. um so yeah we we actually got it in yesterday so we also had very limited time with it to to test stuff uh, we're also still running the the beta and software indeed yeah uh, but yeah we wanted to show it uh, to you guys and you're the first <laughs> one seeing it in this much detail joe brown is correct when 2.5 geek is the slow port <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes exactly it is yeah. on this board yeah um, it, sorry Michiel. yeah let's uh take a look at how you connect this so you have the graphics card let's put this in here I so the display anything? port oh, yeah. yeah it's there you, we go. you need to grow a third arm i need a stand for this this camera ah that doesn't fit in our budget <laughs> that will make my life a lot easier <laughs> just go one extra arm so this ca this cable comes included in the box it is a uh, regular display port on this side for your graphics card and then you have the mini display port on this side and that's the one you will put into your main board. Make sure to connect it to the correct one, because if you plug it in the bottom one, it will be for that Thunderbolt port. 
if you plug it in that one, it will be for that Thunderbolt port. So it doesn't work when you cross it, basically. Uh, so I will now put it in the bottom one. There we go. Then I borrowed this from Ja. This is our cool portable monitor. Do you remember the name, Eric? I think, wait, it should show here. Oh, no, something 1600. Oh, AP 1600. Something, something. Right? Yeah, we can I think there's an early sample. It doesn't even show on this one yet. <laughs> I, let me... But yeah, it's a, it's a very cool portable screen. Very shiny. Let me put this down. Oh, I might be wrong. I f oh, so many there products. And this screen comes with... Uh, USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable and you can use this one to power the screen but also to get the display signal from in this case the motherboard to the screen so we only need a single cable to connect this oh, so this this one is the the, the optics MAG 161V okay so right now it's connected it has two Type-C ports, so I hope I'm using the right one. I'm not sure if both can support this. Ah, I actually do already see something on the screen, so I think it works. So right now we only have the single cable from the motherboard, from the Thunderbolt port, to this screen. And now it's, it's taking the display signal from the graphics card because the graphics card is linked to the motherboard. Yeah. So there we are. Let me duplicate this so I can also see what I'm doing. There we go. Duplicate to what? Oh, maybe I should plug my monitor in yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> duplicate no to what? No one saw this, right? Nah, we will cut that out. Nobody will see. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> duplicate to what indeed. <laughs> yeah, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> That's what the PC thought as well, duplicate to what. <laughs> yeah. A good go. try. So yeah, right now... Uh, uh, shall I use the caption okay? or...? Yeah, you can... You can uh, oh, I don't... Yeah, I, I cannot duplicate it to three monitors, I think. Mm. Yeah, Let me plug can. this out. That, that's mirror... Uh, first you need to mirror it and then duplicate it. Wait, I can do this. Then you should be able to see it. But then you, yeah, is this duplicate? This is duplicate. Okay. Let me see. So yeah. Now with a single cable, you're basically doing everything. There we are. So yeah, I, I think this so is So this, this, is this was feature. a special cable, the USB cable, which is actually a yeah. USB cable with display port included, right? Yeah, it has uh, DisplayPort Alt mode in the in the USB cable, basically. Yeah. So you don't want to lose this cable because. Uh, no, it comes with two included in the box because it also has okay, two. Okay, you can lose one. Th well, it has two connections. So okay. if you want to use both of them, then you shouldn't lose one. If you only want to yeah. use one screen with a single cable connection, yeah. then you can lose one. Yeah, I I I'll, I want to say something about USB Type C monitors, but to be honest, I don't know how many more are coming on the market. Yes, they are on the market. Uh, but yeah, we, we, yeah, Thunderbolt adoption, um, it has its own ecosystem, but yeah, it's very difficult to say how big this will get. But no doubt, with USB 4.0, it will get another impulse. Uh, so come on YouTube chat, uh, it seems pretty pointless when you're going to be moving around an extended ATX PC with a uh, $3,000 dollar model. Well, it's, it's $29.99 only. <laughs> <laughs> to warrant a portable monitor. Um, it's not that this connection can only be used for a portable monitor. I, wish I just quickly needed a screen that supports both power and display over a single cable, but there are more monitors on the market that can do it, also bigger ones than this one. Um, yeah. So this it's is just, just for demonstration purposes. Yeah. I don't expect people to be using this exact monitor with this motherboard because I totally agree that that's a pointless combination. Um, but this is just to show you that it works to, um, to get both the power and the display signal from the motherboard to, to your monitor um, by connecting the gra graphics card to the motherboard. Yeah, one footful is asking PCI quick release similar uh, to Strix in the future. No, no, not planned because 
Yes, it looks like a nice feature, but in the end you put it in your GPU and you don't take it out anymore. So, yeah. What's the advantage over Thunderbolt, over DP or HDMI in gaming? Uh, actually, there is no uh, advantage. Uh, Thunderbolt actually, what we're doing here is using DisplayPort. That's yeah. basically what we're transferring over the Thunderbolt connection. So in terms of specifications, it's also similar to DisplayPort. The big difference, however, is that I can also put power over this cable. So I don't need any power cable or battery or anything for this for this uh, screen that I have right here. Yeah. Of course, your screen also needs to support that, that it can be powered um, and get its display signal over a single USB Type-C port. Um, but yeah, you cannot do that with um, um, display port itself. You don't have the power um, that you do get over the Thunderbolt. So that's basically how it works. Yeah. Okay, uh, maybe let's go back yeah. here. Yeah, so a full armor design. Uh, I already showed you the stuff that is included in the box with, of course, the, the metal covers uh, on the top and the bottom of the motherboard. Let me quickly remove the portable screen again so we have some space and grab the motherboard. So right now it's actually, this one is not even fully equipped because this one doesn't have the, the top and the bottom covers installed. Oh, you also have a top cover? Yeah, yeah, both. Okay. Wait, let me show you on the uh, portable camera. So. This is the cover on the top. Oh, nice. All the way over, and the connectors are hidden underneath. Oh, there's even uh, like a, like a see-through window for your uh, yep. debug LED. Yes. Oh, nice. That's neat, huh? Yeah. There we go. And on the bottom. You need to zoom out a bit. I mean, it's, yeah, like that was better. And all connectors are well hidden underneath. Ah, okay, cool. And from uh, metal. So in our previous generation, we also had covers. They were made out of plastic. But yeah, we thought they felt too cheap. So we wanted to have it more premium. So we now have fully metal, kind of a sandstone finish covers. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to the other board that I have right uh, here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, on the back, a lot of cooling, a lot of, yeah, it, it looks really beefy. <laughs> it also feels like that. It's extremely heavy. But also on the back of this motherboard, a huge, metal backplate um, and it's used for multiple purposes it's not only to reinforce the motherboard because of course the weight and the size um, but it also helps to cool let me show this up close and hope yeah, that i can, yeah, show we can see you. that you can see the pads in between yeah. here so that's for the vrm right yes that's correct well in this situation this is oh, this is to this is behind the memory slot so this is reinforcing the the memory part and right here there yeah. you see one big thermal pad and that's behind the, the power stages of the VRM. So this on the side, but also if I flip it like this, can you see it on the top as well? Yeah, I, I know what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's maybe yes. a little bit hard to see. Oh, I actually can show we it were from not, the top. We're not actually. going to take it apart today? No. I'm <laughs> just asking. <laughs> it looks heavy, yeah, it's, it, it is. It's extremely heavy, it's over three kilograms. It's, this is by far the heaviest consumer motherboard I've ever had in my hands. So yeah, all metal chest plate, it's, it's really big, um, uh, the, the, uh, the back plate on the, on the board itself also helps a lot. If you have a bigger surface area, it helps a lot with the cooling. Um, and yeah, with this VRM <laughs> and uh, the cooling that's on there, you can easily, extremely overclock a Core i9 12900K, but you will always run into heat issues for your CPU faster than you will with the, yep. the VRM on this board. It's, that's also with the with the 12900K. It's yeah, cooling yeah. the CPU. That's the key. Yeah, that's that's the challenge basically yeah. if you want to do the extreme overclocking for the VRM. Uh, yeah, easy, easy. So quickly summarizing. So building. Oh, somebody was creative. One, two, three, yeah, four. For sure. The built-in touchable LCD screen. So mm -hmm. let me let, let's you, maybe you grab my camera you and go about side by side. Gotta appreciate our marketing department. Uh, droid cam. Okay. Then we have number two. That was two times front USB Type C, 20 gigabits per second. What was number three, Eric? Uh, three kilograms. Yeah. Well, I just felt that. Yeah. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. <laughs> 
Number four? I, I think this is a weak one because it's a four times exclusive patent pending design. Oh, they couldn't find anything yeah, for well, the four. Yeah, well, actually, it's the cross heat pipe, it's the full <laughs> armor design, the magnetic and the two shield thruster. Well, I know a four. It has four DDR5 slots. Hey, yeah, <laughs> good one. Yay. They should hire you in marketing. Exactly. Um, five tempered glass design. So five times. Yeah. Can you so count? Yeah. Um, one, two. Yeah. yeah. Three, yeah. four, five. Okay, okay, they did a good job. Yeah. Then uh, dual dual channel DDR five six 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 whatever plus. So that's Actually, for the six, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but six plus six, uh, six plus six plus six plus six is twenty four. So hmm, poor attempt. Anyway, seven <laughs> magnetic connectors because we have seven M two slots. Do we? We have six. We have six M two slots. But look, <laughs> there's a magnetic oh, connector there yeah. as well. Actually, then it's seven eight because it's also on the cable and it's on the main board and on the display yeah but yeah this is this is external <laughs> okay 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 fair enough um yeah and this is the our eighth generation godlike motherboard yep okay so there's some focus issues i did clean it but yeah need to look into that yeah maybe it just have has an off day <laughs> <laughs> i think so <laughs> it happens so then we're at nine no, there is, there, <laughs> there is, is no, no nine. nine. There is a no nine. Okay, for the next godlike then. Yeah, <laughs> you can make one up, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, these are the specs of godlike. Uh, the product page is still not online. This will, I don't know. Do you know? End of this year? Uh, I think. Yeah, I think the product page should be be live. Twenty seven or something. Yeah. Could be. I, I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe even. Uh, yeah, I think. Could be 27. Anyway, late. Like in two weeks' time, yeah. uh, you can read all the information online. Um, you and you should be always also be able to find uh, our, our dedicated landing page there then, yeah. where you can get more information about the earlier Godlike models, but also in the countries where this will become available. You can also register um, to see if you're eligible to, uh, eligible to buy one. Um, so yeah, more information there. Yeah. Um, I think that's it uh, here, Michiel. You want to... I don't think so. Oh yeah, so indeed, it's... Um it's a, a like got like it's not only the main board it's a bundle and I think yeah. that's with the price in mind I think it's very important to remember that. Hey, here is and also with the DDR5 shortage in mind because it, it is hard to. to this get is DDR5 draft version right. again because it says two times sixteen gig. They should just say uh, thirty two gig two dims. Yeah, it's, it's yeah it's this confusing. Well, I think uh, maybe they split it because, uh, of course, then you get the, the dual channel memory support. Yeah, but I when I read the sentence, I don't want to make calculations. And here I need to, okay, so it's 32. Yeah, but you don't want to have a single 32 gigabyte DIM. You no, will lose performance. I think that, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, clear. I think that's why it's put like this, but I get what you mean. Yeah. I think then we have one big thing to do before we end our live stream for today. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like Eric is going to take it today. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> everybody was complaining like, oh, I cannot make my Twitch entry and, and Gleam is down. Oh, so we have zero entry. So Yeah, no so problem, guys. <laughs> I'm, uh, I know where to send it. <laughs> so I think it's uh, time to pick our winner yeah. for the MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi. Let's do that. Let's, uh, let, let me first refresh this. So do, do we have any entries or yeah, yeah, Amazon Web Services still down? A lot of entries. A lot of entries. <laughs> uh, well, the lucky thing is that Gleam is working. Uh, a few hours before it wasn't working. So we can actually get a winner for a motherboard. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I will change this, right? Yes. It's like, uh, um, uh, anyway, I will just do here. <laughs> Draw winners. Okay. <coughs> so Bless you. Yeah. Okay. We have our winner. Can you read it? Nickname Janne. Congratulations. You won our MPG Z690 Carbon Wi Fi motherboard. Yes. Do I read it correctly? Because it's really small for me. Janne, yeah, it's right? Janne. 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 Janne, congratulations. Not sure it's a girl or a, or a boy. In Holland, Janne could be a girl. Yeah, 
Trans me boy. Can be both, I think. It, or it's like non-binary or whatever stuff they I think made it up. I think in Dutch it should, should work for both. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, congratulations, Janne. You yes. won our MPG Z690 Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. Um, we'll send you an email in the coming days uh, and ask you for your uh, shipping information. And then, of course, we will send you this motherboard as soon as possible. So, so congratulations. Augustus is saying my real name is Janne. Could be that it's you. I mean, um, maybe there are more people with the same nickname. We will send you an email in the yeah. coming days. So if, if you get the email, then you are the correct Jan that won yeah. the prize. And if you don't <laughs> get it, you know where Too it bad. ended up. Better next time. <laughs> <laughs> then I have a new system at home. <laughs> anyway, um, let's maybe talk about next week. Yes, because I think Ja will be back with something cool. Yes, he will start talking about the new 12, 12th gen gaming desktops. Oh, so we're going from flagship model to flagship model. Mm, well, I'm not sure if this is a flagship model. I mean, more to come. Well, uh, I think CES the easiest TI5 12th generation is like True. the top end gaming desktop. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's for next week. Uh, same, same day, same time. Yeah. So Different people, probably. Will you join next week? I, I have no idea, actually. Yeah, I, also I know Ja will be there, but I don't know who will be. I know I will not week. be there. You will not be there? Yeah. Okay. Then maybe me. I don't know yet. Then we'll probably P Peter or me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so thank you all for joining. Um, hope you enjoyed day. it. Stay and safe. Yeah. And congrats to the uh, winner. Uh, we will contact you soon. And hope to see you again next week. Thank you all. Thanks all. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>